So thank you for joining us here in one of our final videos for the WSUS server. Um, we'll have this one and then we'll have a, just a wrap up for the last WSUS video. What this video is about is using group policy to configure our systems to um, be updated from our internal WSUS server for automatic updates instead of, um, instead of the Windows Update Center. How we're going to do this is we are actually going to use the Group Policy Management Console. You can get to it from the Administrative Tools and it will be right here. Or you can use GPM, uh, GPMC, Group Policy, Group Policy Management Console, .msc. So just going to open this up. Now as you can see I've got a couple of group policies here. Um, the layout is pretty similar to the Active Directory users and computers just with a little bit of difference. And what we're going to do is we have this marketing organizational unit here. So let's say we want to make sure that all the members of the marketing group and their computers that would be in that organizational unit will be update, updated from our WSUS server. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here where it says group policy objects and we're going to uh, click new. And we're just going to call this WSUS marketing. And you can really call it whatever you want, but just give it a descriptive name. So now that we have this WSUS marketing object, we're just going to go right up to marketing. We're going to right click and we're going to say link an existing GPO. And this is how we're going to tie this group policy object to this organizational unit. So we're going to say OK. Now we have this organizational unit and this group policy object. So we're going to edit this group policy object. So we're just going to right click and hit edit. Now, group policy can be very daunting because it is a very, very um, large and powerful way to do things within your infrastructure. But it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. You know, for example, if you op open up window settings and then you open up security settings, look, we've got all this stuff here. And I mean, that's not even the biggest part. So if we open up administrative templates and then go Windows components, it's like, boom, look at all of this stuff that we have here. So don't be afraid when you first start working with group policy. I don't know anybody who has all of this stuff, you know, memorized. Just know about Windows and be liberal with Google. So what we're going to be using in order to do um, our task today, we're going to be using the computer configuration policies. Then we're going to go to Windows settings, administrative templates, Windows components, and all the way down to Windows updates. And there are about, I think, 16 different options here that we're going to configure. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to try to go through them quickly. Um, so this first one is do not display install updates and shut down. I do want to um, display this to my users, so I'm going to disable that. I'm going to go next. Um, do not uh, just the default option to install updates and shut down um, in the user's Windows dialog box. Um, this is pretty similar. So basically we're going to disable that as well. The third one, enable Windows Update Power Management. Yes, if the computer is sleeping, I do want to wake it up. So we're going to enable that. Four, configure automatic updates. We do want to enable this. So maybe for users that you trust or if you have a very literate group of computers, auto download and notify for install. But I want to auto download and schedule the install. And we're going to do the install time at 3 a.m. It is a 24 hour um, time clock there. So the next one is specify intranet Microsoft update service. And this is what we've been working on. This is our WSUS server. So our particular server happens to be named W2K803. Now you have the option, um, as we mentioned before in our other videos, to have many servers. One would be a reporting server. But in our case, we're just using one server. So both of these options will be the same. Next. 
automatic update detection frequency we do want to um, update this so we want to set it by default we're going to check every 12 hours I actually read a really good security hour article recently on um, paul.com.com that 24 hours is sometimes not enough um, now we're going to allow non administrators to receive update notifications sure why not let them know what's going on um, turn on these notifications yes allow automatic update immediate installation some updates will not interrupt what the user is doing and they will simply download in the background and they will install silently in the background that is what this will allow um, so we're going to select that turn on recommended updates yes in addition to our critical updates and our security packs we want to get the recommended ones as well no auto restart um, we basically we're going to disable this um, we want we do want the Windows Update service to automatically restart the machine for our workstations if you were applying a policy to your servers you would probably disable this because you don't want them to automatically restart so that's going to be system you know dependent reprompt for restart with schedule installation um, we are going to enable this personally I want to do every 15 minutes just so if we have a large network it's not flooding everything delay restart for scheduled installations a lot of times when you do a uh, Windows update right at home it'll tell you hey I need to restart and you can you know silence it for X amount of minutes this is the same thing um, reschedule automatic up update installations so for some reason uh, if you know we missed the update let's say we're scheduled to update at 3 o'clock and um, the computer is powered off at 3 o'clock uh, when it's turned back on and connected to the network it will um, connect 15 minutes after the system starts up so we do want to enable that enable client side targeting if you remember we created groups in the WSUS service so instead of manually going into the WSUS console and adding our computers to the groups individually we can simply say here if we have a Windows 7 workstation group in our WS US server for some you know for because we created it and we know that this group policy is applied to Windows 7 workstations this will automatically add those workstations into that group so it's pretty nice allow signed updates from intranet Microsoft update service location um, essentially uh, if you have like an NVIDIA video card or ATI video card, a very well-known manufacturer, and their drivers are verified by Microsoft and signed, uh, Microsoft will push down those updates as well. So if we have this disabled, those will not be automatically downloaded. I don't mind. I like my drivers and things like that to be updated automatically maybe this is another thing that you would not have on your servers but for workstations that's okay so these are all the options we're gonna hit apply we're gonna hit okay so now this is all updated so we're gonna get out of here close this out so now you can see we have marketing now a little thing just about group policy this is more on group policy itself versus the WS US server um, it will start to take a lot of time for your systems to boot up if you have a lot of group policy objects applied within your organization so what you can see here is you can turn off like half of it basically or you can just disable the whole group policy we know that all of our configuration was done in the computer configuration settings so what we're going to do is we're actually going to disable the user settings for this group policy so though these group policy objects can just be processed faster um, there's also something to note about if you want to add a custom user um, there's an opportunity to do what's called security filtering we'll talk about that in greater detail when we actually do a group policy management video 
but if you let's say you have a group like marketing users and you want a group policy to only affect marketing users you would have to add this group here under add and then under the permissions there needs to be two key permissions so if you look at authenticated users they need the read permission and they need the apply group policy permissions without those uh, the group policy will not be applied so that's good to know so we have basically completed our task um, I hope you found it informative and please follow along with us in our last tutorial for WSUS and we'll have a, a complete functioning uh, patch management system provided free courtesy of Microsoft thanks again for watching here at windservetoots.com and have a great day